What's going on? We're here in Reason 12, Reason Plus. Let's drop a redrum drum computer in there, a red drum. Um, let's just start with one. I'm going to show you some tips. So first, we're going to show you how to make a beat completely inside of the redrum or the red drum. So we're going to go to our drum supply. We're going to click bass drum. Let's use that one. We can alter it. We can actually make all of our changes right here on the face. That's one of the reasons why I like the, the redrum over all of the different things that I use. I have machine, I have MPC one, I have Ableton, but in the midst of making a beat, all of the main controls are right there without having to go to another screen. And I really like that. So let's just start by throwing one on the one. Let's turn our click off. We're going to stack it. Let's get a good 808. We can drop that in. We want to drop that on number three where we have an option to change our start and our, our, our pitch and our length. Same thing with our samples. If you notice, these different channels are different. Three, four. They have start and length uh, of values right there. So what we want to do is grab another kick to layer with our first. Or actually, I'm going to leave that empty because I'll show you how to stack up your drum kits by using the gate. Let's find a good clap. Let's use a stutter. Okay. Now we have a put our clap on the 5 and the 13. Bring our volume down. Turn our pitch up some. Let's add an 808. All right, let's, if we turn this velocity knob, it'll hit it harder. There we go. We want our kick to be kicking. Turn the pitch down some. Let's start with that. Now let's turn this kick down. All right. Now, for the sake of, of this purpose, I'm going to... I have some outside loops. I'll make sure that I put the, the song file up. Let's grab that and drop it. Put it on the one. Turn our level down some. Turn our lift down. I want it to play till about right there. Okay, and now let's turn our pitch down. It's gonna. All right, so we have that there. Let's bring it again. Let's go on note, note two. Um, <clears throat> first, let's go back to here. Let's copy our pattern. Come to part two. Paste our pattern. So then we take this one off and add it here. And duplicate our settings. Leave our pitch where it's at. Our length says 89. We put it on 89. Our volume says 70, let's do it on 70. So now we have. We have that, okay. Let's get our hi-hats now. Let's build those in. Use that, okay. Okay, let's bring us a snare in. We could use that. I'm 
We stack our hi-hats up to give it a little bit of a bounce. All right, let's add that one. Turn our audio down. I'm going to add one more. Okay. And now Now we have those two patterns. So if we wanted to, just with that, now if I wanted to take another pattern first at a break, we could put it on the four, four and the four break. We could do this. Okay, we could do that. And now we're going to take our sample. All right. We can even throw our. Okay. And now we could go to four. And on four, we can move this to a 30 second note, right? And let's move this to 32 so we have a two-bar loop. And this is the equivalent of 166 BPM, okay? So now let's, um, and the way I got that is because our BPM is at 83. If we double the resolution to 132nd, move it to two bars, it will be the same as making a beat at 164 BPM. All right, and it sounds exactly the same as 83. So now if I add my kick, right, I could speed it up for you guys who like to have your, your stuff there. So now. if I wanted to just do that right now we could go through at our hi-hats they're going to be super fast watch see so if we come here and if you use the soft button you can hit the alter alternation alternate alternate I don't know what I just said don't judge my life we can make that work and give it the feel now we're going to throw our sample on we're going to put it on medium if we want it there we go copy that we could go to five we could paste that take this sample off put it on here and then we could copy this pattern again go to six paste it and add our snare We could copy this again, copy pattern, go to seven, paste it, just to switch our snare or switch our sample again, turn this knob, 
And there we go. And then we could go here, change eight. We could go to uh, uh, copy the, oh man, I messed that up. Let's go to seven. We could copy this pattern. Go to paste. Need to do it on eight, my bad. Paste right there. And then we could turn our whole snare off again. And let's turn our clap off. Let's get our, automa our automation together. good so we got some different automation set up right there you see the green box it'll let you know that it's automated and you could copy and paste this throughout your whole performance your whole uh, arrangement so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another redraw because i want to stack it up so we're going to hit tab we're going to run our gate from our drum the out to the end we're going to run it out to the end down here all right we got those two together let's move our window down some so we can see now if we want to stack our kick like i said earlier i felt like the kick was a little naked use that all right I don't like that one but let's go through Let's go, keep going. I like that one. So we're going to go back over here to our, um, grab our claps. Let's see if we can add. Let's use that. that we could turn our pitch up on we don't even have to use notes because it's going to follow our first redrum our first red drum okay and now if i wanted to um say i want to build just ascend i want to be able to do some use the send send knob right here right so first i want to turn my hi-hats down some just a little bit we want those way in the back move them down some more all right and so now if i want to go through we could add an effect right so let's add a a, a screen okay You want to hold shift when you add it so it comes in empty so i'm holding 
Hold shift, it'll come in, it won't route it. We can hit tab. And now we want to run our send out to our input right here. And we take our output route to a new mix channel. And now we can send, let's say we want to send our 808 through there. So now it's coming in one sided. What if I want to fix that? What I could do is take this, my right and disconnect and it'll be mono, see, mono left. Now we got mono. Now I can turn the knob to distortion. Turn up the damage. Turn up the lows. And now we could turn the overall volume down. So we got that, we got some distortion in there. Now say if I wanted to add a, a, a specific reverb just for the claps, we hold shift again, drag it and drop it. Okay, we're going to hit tab again. We're going to take our left output, run it to the right. No, we're not going to do that. So we're going to disconnect. We're going to um, let's take our send to we're going to disconnect. We're going to take send to run into the left input. We're going to route to a new mix channel. We're going to disconnect the right so we have another mono and then we'll run our claps through there. So we could take this one and run it in as well. So watch this. got both those going let's see it should be cool let's see how it's saying when it come back we can add that send in there okay and now if I wanted to add in, say I wanted to, let's throw one more in and I could show you if we want to record this, let's say, okay, let's stop. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, we got that there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. A, A. All right, let's do that now. Let's work on this real quick. Hey, 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 hey. We want to take our length down. Hey, hey, A, A. All right, so let's stop A. this. We're going to get this one. Select. Hey. So. Let's work on this one now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do it again. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, and then a, a, a. A, 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 
Hey. All right. Now let's start our beat. Okay, so now if I wanted to, right now, let's um go to F5. Turn on our reverb, F6. So now, if we want it, we could edit the automation on that. Turn on our pre-click. Oh, my bad. We got to do it again. Turn on our pre-click, and we good. So now we got that. Now there's a couple places if I wanted to change and edit this, we could bring this up. My advice is where you see these lines, just draw and break it. Slice it right there. And then you'll get your pencil tool and you can come through and just change what, what pattern it's playing. So if I wanted this to start, with pattern one. So we could keep that on one. could turn this watch when it comes to A2 alright let's go to A2 real quick we could turn those off so now That's the reason why I do my automation and I don't send it to the track is because I could still make the changes live if I want to change something. So look, I could go to F3, put this on there. Okay. So let's see. Well, let's we just put it down too. I, I think you guys get the, the concept of how that works. And hopefully this tutorial shows you some things that you could do with just the, the, the redrum, the red drum. And these are just some basic tips. There's so much more. If you follow my channel and get with me, I definitely can show you all kinds of tools to get your redrum and your red drum really going in another way 
and really get this thing pumping for you so let's get it going make sure you like share subscribe comment all of those things it's your brother brother otg and reason and reason 12 just showing you some some tips inside of the red drum and hopefully this gets your creative processes flowing